All right, everybody. Hey, this is Nick uh, with Stream Text, and I want to give you kind of an overview of what we've been working on in Zoom. We actually just rolled this out this weekend, and um, I do have a support document on it that is on our support site that will cover all this as well. Um, so if you do after the after this want to go back and look at any of the details, I have it all mapped out here as well. But I want to go in and show you what we've done. Um, a lot of the issues we've run into with Zoom have been related to having control over what you customers want to see. So what we've done is added all the different options that you can control and allow you really to create the experience that you think you need for your customers. Because there's different ones. Some folks are looking for more text to show on the screen and others want faster captions to show. So anyways, let me go into this and uh, give you kind of an overview. First, I'll show you the settings have changed and um, you'll notice, um, and I also have a note on here as well, it defaults, the default settings will match to the settings that were in the old um, update. So if you leave the settings the way they are, they will come out the same as they did before, especially if you set the delay to zero. Now, if you were setting the delay higher than zero, you'll wanna add those seconds to the timer. Uh, the three second timer was actually being used behind the scenes. Um, that wasn't being exposed. So well, let me just go through these briefly. So the check off the zoom is still there. The caption URL, of course, is still there. But now we've created what is called the send on timer. So it does a couple of functions. It acts like a buffer to hold the text, but it also has a timer function to it. So at that timer, when it goes off, it will send off the text. And then you can combine these timer. You can turn these things on and off and use them in different combinations. So we also added the feature to how many line counts you want to have before it sends. And we added this so you can have one, two, or three lines that can be set as well. And you can do combinations of these. So right now I have a rule that says, and these are the default settings, send on timer is three seconds. And then the send on line count is three. And then so either one of those conditions happens, the text is going to send. So if three seconds expires or if there's enough text to fill up three lines, then that will expire and the timer won't go off. I'll show you how that looks. I've got a pre-recorded event um, that I'm kind of playing with here to kind of show you how this all works. So you can see my screen here. I've got the Zoom meeting up with the text actually flowing into it with the three second and three line setup. And this looks pretty familiar to what you're probably used to seeing. You know, some text with two or three lines, you know, not a lot of text. Sometimes there'll be more, sometimes there'll be less. And this all depended on how quickly the person was speaking. But now you can tune all this. And I'm gonna walk you through the changes as with this live event so we can just see exactly what happens when we start tuning this. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna do is actually maximize the amount of text you see in the window. So you've got someone, a client that really wants to see three lines at the same time. Well, we can turn the timer off or you can set that to a higher value, but I'm just gonna turn it off for now. You can actually set it to a, a higher value. Maybe you could set it to 10 seconds. So either three, three lines or 10 seconds, let it set off. And I'm just gonna leave it at three lines. So I'm gonna update that. And again, this is using the event control change settings. So you can actually change these settings in real time. We also improve this so that when you make changes, the changes happen immediately to the uh, to the player as well. You don't have to wait 20, 30 seconds for it to kick in. So here we go. Here's three lines. So you're gonna notice there's gonna be a longer delay between when you see the captions because they're building up the text for each caption. So, but you get more text in there. We'll fill the screen and um, it looks good and really formats a lot better. So that's a real simple way if you need to get three lines on the screen and time is not necessarily the issue. Um, you do get more text, so there's more to read. So, you know, it, it's, it really depends on the speed of the conversation. Again, if you need faster captions in that, you can always go back and set the timer to say, I want no more than, you know, seven seconds between captions. I can update the live event. Go back to my Zoom meeting room, and it'll look very similar because basically it's going to wait for seven seconds or three lines. So just another way to kind of tune it 
to ex exactly what you're looking for. Um, I'm going to go back in here and, and make another change. I'm going to turn the turn the timer off here. So we've got three lines. I'm going to show you, you know, if you want to show two lines, that'll speed it up. I'll actually update the live event. So all we're doing here is waiting for two lines of text to show up in Zoom. And now you're going to notice it should go a little fast. You know, you mean, and again, you're not always going to have exactly two lines. It'll be an approximation um, of how the speed of conversation, but this is pretty close to what you're going to be seeing uh, for two lines. And it looks good and it comes across faster because two lines obviously doesn't take as long to build up as three lines. So again, formatting well, looks good. Um, again, one of the recommendations I do recommend when you are using this is the right hand margin will create a return. You can see in some cases where you'll see a, a margin return come in. If you're on Eclipse or if you're on Case Catalyst or a platform that you can turn off that right hand margin or set it to a very large value, um, then the only margins you're going to have are the uh, new paragraphs, which will help it format a little better or a speaker change um, instead of having those margins. Although we built this so that it will support all of that as well. Now, so let's go back and, and do some more here. So I've gone down to two lines. You can go down to one, you know, if you need things to go across quickly and you don't want to set the timer to go off, you can definitely go down to one line as well. Um, now, I'm going to show you something that actually, I'm going to go back to three lines here by default. And I'm going to turn on the send, send on sentence end. This is kind of a neat feature. And again, I don't think it's, you know, necessarily, these are combinations of things you'll try with different events and different, I think different customers and clients will require different outputs. Um, but what I'm going to do now is we'll see the Zoom setting now with the end of sentence. And again, it won't always be end of sentence. It'll either be the line count or the end of sentence, but most of the time it'll be the end of sentence. You'll see the lines are smaller. They're going to follow sentence time. You obviously have to be a little careful with using periods, uh, Mr., Miss, you know, those type of things. You want to control that if you're using this, but you get full control over when that caption's sent. You hit a return, or I mean, you hit a, uh, um, you know, a question mark or anything like that, it's going to send the line. So this also does a nice job. It keeps everything contextually connected too. So I find that that's, and it also, I think, depends on the conversation. You know, how are you having, you know, I think the type of conversation seems to affect that as well. Another feature we've got on here that I'm not going to be able to show as well. Um, so we had send on sentence in that we just used. We have send on line feed. And this is an interesting one. I think that's going to be handy for a lot of you folks that do um, that, you know, use Eclipse, Catalyst, and you can turn off that right hand margin. And then you really have full control because the line feed is really your, your new paragraph. So you can either set this to three lines, or if you need to flush something out, you just hit a new paragraph, which gives you ultimate control over how that's going to look. And that's something that um, I think is going to look really good. I, I don't, I wasn't set up and I'm obviously in a writer for flushing that out that way, but um, it, I believe that's going to be another really um, powerful kind of way for you. If you really want to take full control of how that text is being sent, how it's being displayed, how much at a time can be shown. Um, I think that line feed option is a good one to play with and kind of get used to if you're, if you really want to get something really dialed in. Again, the defaults, just to go back to, are going to match what the old settings were, which are going to be three seconds and three line counts and three line send on count. But I, we believe that as you look at this, you're probably going to be looking at increasing this time probably to try and get more text on the screen or potentially using a send on timer, potentially in combination with the sentence end um, and getting the format that way as well. Turning the timer off is actually handy as well. If, you, if you're in control of how you're sending things and you want to send on sentence end or send on a line feed or just send on every two, two lines of text um, in combination, you really have full control over what you want to see. Now, I know this is a little more complicated than before. Obviously, we've added more functionality. So 
feel free, you know, to, to play with this. Um, we'll give you any kind of testing time you need to with Zoom. If you need to, I can always set up a session for you in our Zoom room and show you how this works. Um, I'll set this back to three lines and, and maybe a longer timer of, you know, eight seconds to give you kind of the, again, these are for types of, you know, the, there's a trade-off. You know, the more lines you show, the longer it takes to build that caption. So there's a difference in the timing on it. Um, so there are some trade-offs with it, but it does really give you that control that you really want. And I think eventually the thing, the new paragraph control, that option, um, I think as well will provide a really good, uh, good option for you guys as well. But I wanted to kind of go through this quickly and show you how they work. The rest is all the same um, as far as grabbing the URL from the meeting room, grabbing that token, that's all the same. Nothing has really changed inside of Zoom. This is really us taking everything we could think of to try and give you guys the best options possible um, when you're trying to hook up to Zoom and really provide a good, as good a possible captioning solution as possible, you know, given the tools uh, that we've got with Zoom. Obviously, we're kind of constrained in that they don't have a word for word interface and it's a line for line thing. But at the same time, um, we believe this is a much better approach um, than, uh, than some of the others um, that are out there as well. So again, um, feel free to contact me with any questions you've got on it. Um, I'll be in the office all week and uh, um, we'll probably do uh, some more follow up on this once we kind of get some of the best practices in. I think there's definitely some different options here and I have those outlined on the support document here as well. Um, I have the new Zoom settings overviewed and I also go into some of the recommendations or things, that, combinations I think that work well. Um, so we also talk a little bit about the writing software setup to really try and minimize those extra returns from your margins and those type of things to get a better output. Um, you know, captioning software like BCS and those won't have those kind of issues or they won't really deal with that right hand margin. But if you're just going Eclipse or Case Catalyst or one of the others, uh, turning that off or setting that to a high number will get that clean, cleaned up look. So, anyways, I want to thank you guys, and um, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen here. And and if you've got any questions, please feel free to follow up with me, and and uh, I'll be around all week. We're really excited about this update. Thank you very much. <laughs>